You buck-tooth mop riding Thackeray beans. Oh, dude. Firefly from hell. Bette Midler, I, I heard rumor that she had written into her contracts that there had to be an isolated shot of her feet walking somewhere in the film. I put a spell on you. You'll see two shots in the party scene. One where she's entering the room. Another one on stage. It's a quick blip while she's walking across the stage. If you look at it quickly, it's like, why would they even bother to put that clip in there? You can stop the thing. I do. No, it was contractual. The big thing I remember from those scenes with the cages was the day that Larry brought his camcorder. Not the camera! And Bette Midler was near her cauldron, and Larry broke it out and started filming, and film she in. saw him and, and got her sent. Hush! Ah! We think you're really cute. Pre TMZ moment where she spotted you, and it was not. It wasn't fun. Was cool. You don't yeah. want that looking at you. And the camera doesn't yeah. smell <laughs> Yeah. The moth thing in the mouth. Come along now! <laughs> this is before the days of CG as we know it now. What is the year? So that meant if moths ha and dust have to fly out of my mouth, then we have to put moths and dust in my mouth to start with. Makes me sick! So they had an upper and lower retainer with a, a latex sheath that kind of protected my mouth from whatever was going into it. Yeah. And I could feel this little, the, the, the flutter of them, and it was just like... Ah! harrowing the first take they get it all set in there cameras are rolling and poof, a light burns out i cut my mouth open and poof, out comes mud and the, the the moths are kind of going ah that was a ruined take i can say uh take two is where we got it right i wasn't attracted to anybody on set Aww. I was always told, like, don't go out around the Disney lot, mm. don't go wandering. That chance. All of a sudden, these boys were, like, playing basketball. Right away, I saw Elijah Wood. Because I think at the time, he was shooting Huck Finn. And right away, I had, like, an instant girl crush on him. Then we became friends, and I had a huge ridiculous crush on him. Everybody on the Disney lot went to Disneyland. Bye -bye. He rode with me and my mom because my mom had to drive. Hello, there. let me see a driver's purse. <laughs> Bette Midler, Kathy, and Jimmy, and Sarah Jessica Parker were all hoisted up on harnesses and wires. It was harder than it looked, but the one person who really loved it was Sarah Jessica Parker. The time's come to play. I had no idea what went on there, how she was strapped in that made it so comfy and, and happy for her, but she loved flying. <laughs> whereas most people don't. All three of those ladies had to be hoisted up and stay there while they were setting the shots, framing everything, lighting everything. So, so that's why it became a long, long day for them. Bless their hearts. Bless you. Ah! The thing I love about the Salem stuff is when we went there, it was getting into Christmas time. And so people were starting to put up all their Christmas ornaments there, having to pay them out block by block on the, all the right. decorations, so, you know, get the Halloween stuff. The autumn vibe was was there, and then they just had bags of leaves for the rest of the yeah. stuff that we had to pick up in LA. You don't like it here? Oh, the leaves are great. The line I threw in there was a, a rewrite. I rewrote what I said on the day because the original script had me cutting my mouth open, coughing out all the dust and moths, and looking at that Midler and saying, bitch. <laughs> That's all it was. I, I felt like, hmm, Disney kids film, this is where I need to prove to the kids that, uh, that I'm on their team, I, that I'm a good guy. Hey, Billy. Thanks. I'd like this moment to play out a bit differently if I could. So I suggested what you see in the movie. Winch, draw up you, buck-tooth, mop-riding firefly from hell! Ah! I waited centuries to say that.